Today we're speaking with Andreas Jones, and we're going to be discussing the value of supply chains to organizations. Uh, so, Andreas, can you first provide a brief background of yourself? Oh, great. Um, absolutely. So, um, my supply chain background uh, started in the military, uh, served on nine years in the U.S. Army, uh, did a plethora of supply chain related activities, uh, including inventory management, uh, supply chain operations, uh, contracting, and, um, and transportation. And so uh, my time in the military gave me a 360 view of supply chain as far as uh, niching out into supply chain to f figure out what's going on at each point. So um, with that experience, it, it allowed me to be uniquely qualified uh, once I got out of the military to then go into the corporate world where I've um, branched out in, into sourcing and procurement and um, also supply chain project management. Can you uh, share uh, with us what is the value of supply chains to organizations? Uh, that's a great question. So uh, the value of supply chain, um, uh, it, supply chain is really a value add organization. So normally what happens um, with, with supply chain organization is that it's, it's only seen as like a tactical organization versus a strategic um, unit within the business. So the value of our supply chain is is allowing the business to have a uh, unbiased uh, strategy of purchasing and um, delivering their service or product to, to their end clients or customers. And so what um, supply chain is built around is, is first and foremost building relationships. And uh, with those relationships, um, you're able to to drive value and uh, derive value from those relationships as you, as your partners, as your strategic partners, get to understand your organization and the goal of your organization. And so, when it comes to things like savings uh, for the organization, you're able to do that because you have the strategic partners that you have built relationships with who understand what the, your business needs are and understand how. Um, to help you achieve your goals. Value are created and delivered in the supply chain. Oh, absolutely. Hello? Yes. Oh, um, so my next question is, um, how is value created and delivered? So value is uh, created first and foremost in understanding the business requirements. Um, you know, the supply chain activity starts with the business, uh, the business units um, having a need. And then once the, um, you understand the business need, then you can go out and um, start looking for solutions to that need. And then so the value you get is that you, ha you are now have... Um, multiple opportunities to get the same result in that you have formed these partnerships with your suppliers and you know that, okay, uh, for, for, for that need, they would be the best suited to, to handle and um, meet the business requirements. And um, at the end of the day, you know, before you go out and do any supply chain related activity, you make sure you got to make sure that you have absolute clarity in what the business requirements are and what, the end goal is for that um, project or initiative. And so value delivered is then done on the back end where you could show tangible savings, either soft or hard savings, and then you could show how um, partner with that company now allows us to have better, um, relate better transactions going forward and continuity in the in support after the project goes over and then stuff like that. Uh, do you have any um, success um, stories you could share? Uh, yes, I, I got to say um, one success story. Success story for me uh, would be um, when one of my uh, corporate roles. I uh, went in, and basically, they were going through a lot of changes. They had acquired um, a couple other companies so they're in the process of merging those companies so 
one of uh, well, what I was able to do was to go in and um, meet with all the companies that they acquired, meet their their leaders, meet their um, their business units, and figure out how to bridge the gap between all three, so we we would have a seamless supply chain operation that could support the business as we are growing and acquiring more companies. And so that entail looking into their contracts, uh, looking for the overlaps of uh, the, the companies at the same suppliers and stuff like that. So a lot of deep uh, work and a lot of uh, details, but the end goal was that we're able to, to, to bridge the gap, we're able to um, uh, consolidate the three supply chain of the company to one global process, which really worked out and helped us um, pos- help position the business uh, better off. Uh, do you have any final recommendations for um, uh, supply chain managers or ex- and executives? Yeah, so uh, for supply chain managers and executives, I'll say the number one thing um, you want to establish in, in your organization is definitely leadership. And leadership and, and the fact that supply chain is, is not a one-man operation or in a business is really not a one-man operation. Um, it's a lot of uh, dependencies there. And so um, as a manager, as, as an executive, you have to be able to cast a vision and get buy-in from all parties, from your workers, your teams, from your suppliers, and everyone in, in between have buy-in into what the vision is. And so as, as a manager and executive definitely you want to have uh, leadership want to have clarity you want to have focus and you want to have great execution and adjustments along the way thanks for sharing today andreas oh thank you